We're joined now by Debbie along with John Holland, medium and author. Debbie, first and foremost, we are so sorry for your loss. And Christopher sounded like just an amazing young man. He was. A phenomenal he son. Is. He and always says is nice to us. I'm curious if, because I know there's skepticism, if this process with John, did it help in any way? It did. Um, I woke up today for the first time since he passed with a sense of comfort that I hadn't felt since October 1st. Mm -hmm. So John, what was something that you felt was really interesting about your connection when you were trying to reach out to Christopher? Well, I felt, um, even though the tragic passing he went through, I still feel his lightness. I mean, mm -hmm. she called him his man boy, and that's exactly how he was coming through. Not in pain, not suffering, um, whole and, and young. And I actually thought he was younger than he was. I mean, he was 29, I thought he was 23, but <laughs> I got his joy, his humor, and I think if a medium can bring through the personality to show the people that, uh, I mean, that's very special too. And of course, the heart thing that I drew before she, you know, I even came here and gave her the heart. It's like, I always like to say, doctor, that it's, I'm, I'm the vessel, don't give me the credit. I'm just a good piece of equipment. You know what I mean? They're the ones that are good. So I have to thank him for being a good communicator. He's the one, and it's the love that, the, that they have for each other that made it happen. Look, I don't want to even begin to try to explain how this works beyond here you are, a grieving mother, right? And I'm curious if when you were sitting on that couch if there was something about the experience that surprised you. <clears throat> Well, I came in not knowing, you know, kind of a little, a little skeptical because I had said to myself, he needs to tell me something nobody knows. Right. If he tells me something nobody knows, okay. Oh, that wasn't in the news. <laughs> yep. But there were things that he said to me that there was no way he could know. He mentioned at one point chocolate and Lucy. And coincidentally, um, my son's favorite episode of I Love Lucy with the was with the on chocolate on the, on the conveyor yeah, belt. So. And in fact, um, he was a huge I Love Lucy fan. Christopher must be really excited here because I Love Lucy literally taped just a few hundred feet oh, wow. away from here. Oh wow, he probably is. He absolutely loved I Love Lucy. I'm curious asking you, John, this in terms of with someone who has lost a loved one mm -hmm. in their attempt to maybe find that connection. Sure. Because I now sense that you have this connection now with Chris that maybe was lacking before you even met with John, what, what can people do to, to find that connection? Just go with an open mind and, and you, you never know. I, I believe that your loved ones are constantly trying to get your attention, but because we're so bereaved that we don't notice it. You know what I mean? They can come through your dreams. Um, they can give you smells. Uh, you know, if you're smelling your mom's cologne, we, we explain it all away. So watch for the signs, really watch for the signs. Or if you want to connect with them too though, just get real quiet. I mean, they're around us, but we're so bereaved. Get real quiet, put their picture in front of you, light a small candle, and you never know. You may feel a touch. You may feel um, a kiss. It's, it's amazing. If, once you open up to it, it's beautiful. How does this approach fit in with formal therapy? I'm curious. This is a helpful adjunct. And I think what you said, John, about being open, I think right. that's key. Absolutely. Because I think sometimes it feels hopeless because you're not open. Right. And so if you have an open mind, perhaps you'll get a communication in a way you don't expect. Absolutely. They're going to try to get your attention from the other side. Trust me. They want to talk to you as much as you want to talk to them. We always say a picture can tell you a thousand words and looking at the pictures of you two together mm -hmm. it really speaks to the bond that you have had and just how special that that mother-son bond can be and I just think it's it's a testament mm -hmm. to you as a mother to him as a son and I'm just really thankful that you shared shared him with us here today and we hope in some way shape or form that that meeting with John helps and certainly for anyone out there dealing with the loss of a loved one, it's never easy. You can learn more about connecting with a lost loved one. It's in John's book called Bridging Two Realms. Mm -hmm. It's available now and everyone in the audience, you're going to go home with a copy of it courtesy of John. <laughs>